Hey, welcome back. We are continuing our page of notes on some really useful enzymes to know about in the body. It's one thing to learn about what an enzyme is as a protein and how important they are for chemical reactions, but as you want to learn more about how the body works, you really want to know specific examples that you might be learning either down the road or just for your own edification to know more about how your body works. So we talked about some of the main digestive enzymes, and next I'd like to talk about some of the main um, liver enzymes. There's actually a ton of liver enzymes. I'm just going to give you a couple of names for this to give you a good understanding of the big picture. So uh, let's go ahead and label, label this the lovely liver. Sorry, my, there we go. Okay, the lovely liver one of my favorite organs. And um, in the liver, there are a few different enzymes that are important for deaminating amino acids. What's interesting about this um, is that a bunch of these different enzymes we're gonna talk about uh, are measured in the blood to see how well your liver is functioning. So if these enzymes are elevated in the blood, it can sometimes mean that liver cells have been damaged and they're spilling some of their enzymes into the blood inappropriately. So that's why you sometimes will end up hearing about these in the medical field if you're going into nursing school or something. Okay, so amino acids um, have to be deaminated in order to be used or recycled. And, and in the process, you get a waste product called ammonia. And um, this process is... Um, enzymatically helped out with enzymes called deaminase. So we're going to highlight in pink the name of the enzyme. We're going to highlight in green the arrow to show that this is a chemical reaction that is occurring because of this enzyme. And then if we follow the pattern that we did in our um, digestive stuff, then the amino acids as a substrate would be purple. And then we went ahead and put the and product here in blue. Okay, so now uh, the liver's got this um, ammonia to deal with, and ammonia cannot build up in the blood, or it actually starts to make people's brain not work right, and they become all erratic, and etc. Anyway, it's a toxin in your blood. So now the liver's got to deal with this nitrogen, and so what it does with the um, ammonia is through a complex series of reactions that I will just call the urea cycle enzymes. Multiple steps. This nitrogen actually gets hooked to a few others as well into a much larger molecule that we call urea. So if we use our pattern, ammonia is what's going to get changed. Urea is what it's going to get changed into. And the enzymes that do this are called the urea cycle enzymes. There are a bunch of them, and I'm not naming them all here. And then the name that will put the arrow in green to show that this is a chemical reaction, and this occurs in the liver. Okay, then um, a specific amino acid named alanine, I'm going to give you the name of its deaminase. So you guys have learned that there are 20 amino acids and one of those specific names, so that specific amino acid, alanine, that one um, is converted into pyruvate in order to be able um, to, to be either recycled or used um, to make ATP, and the enzyme is called alanine, alanine transaminase. And I'm taking the time to tell you about this one because this important enzyme is nicknamed ALT, and it is measured in the blood as an indication of liver function. If this is high in the blood, it means that it's spilling out of damaged liver cells. Not a good sign. Okay, so we're gonna put um, alanine is purple, and then pyruvate is what it gets converted into. Then the name of the enzyme is alanine transaminase, or ALT. And we'll use green to say, hey, this is a chemical reaction. Thank you, liver, for doing so much for us. Okay, and then I'm actually going to write here that, um, as a reminder, if you're reading this later, this is elevated in the blood if the liver is damaged. And that damage could be from hepatitis, 
It could be from alcohol. Or, so it could be from like viral, infectious, so um, hepatitis. It could be um, caused by alcohol poisoning or just damage over many years, like leading to cirrhosis of the liver. It can be damaged by um, fatty liver disease, one of which the things that might contribute to that is a lot of fructose in the diet, amongst other um, things. Okay, so then um, another important enzymatic job of the liver is to convert bilirubin, I know isn't that a fun name for a substrate, bilirubin into something that's called conjugated bilirubin. So it's basically, what it's doing is it's making bilirubin soluble in water so it can be excreted either in the bile or back into the blood to go through the kidneys. So bilirubin to conjugated bilirubin, this is soluble now, so that's the goal because otherwise it wouldn't be able to um, floated out into the blood if it wasn't soluble. And so um, it can be excreted um, in the bile or um, through the kidneys. Oh, my dog is having a dream. I don't know if you can hear him. He sounds always like he's really always in a big fight in his dreams. Um, okay, and then bilirubin. What is bilirubin? Well, when your blood cells are broken down, then they uh, have the red heme gets broken down from one form to another until it's a yellow pigment called bilirubin. So I'm just gonna tell you that this is the leftover pigment from your old red blood cells. And it, your liver is the one that gets to deal with it. Sorry. Okay, so that's the leftover pigment. So notice that your liver is sure doing a lot to kind of clean up the waste products of other processes. So bilirubin is the substrate. Conjugated bilirubin is the product that can be then excreted from the body, either in the bile through the intestines or out to the blood and then out through the kidneys and then the urine. Um, this is a chemical reaction. So we're going to put it in green. And um, once again, I'm not going to give you specific names, but there are a variety of conjugation reaction enzymes. And uh, again, to tell you why this word conjugation is important, it means that the bilirubin has something added to it that is polar enough that it can be soluble in water. Okay, so some pretty awesome roles of the liver there. So to recap, we've now talked about some important digestive enzymes in your body, some liver enzymes in your body, and then um, we're going to talk about a few important enzymatic reactions that occur in your bloodstream and your mitochondria next.